Shocking video footage has emerged out of Fresno, California, showing an armed thug who pointed a gun and a knife at a Starbucks cashier in an attempt to rob her. Now, the thug is living in a world of hurt after a fed-up customer decided to make him pay for his criminal behavior, and rightfully so. According to the Fresno Bee, what can only be described as a wild fight broke out between a masked thug, who was trying to rob a Starbucks coffee shop at gunpoint, and 58-year-old Craig Jerry, a real hero. The shocking footage captured by surveillance cameras shows 30-year-old Ryan Michael Flores approaching the cashier wearing a Transformers mask and holding what police say is a replica handgun as Flores brazenly walks up to the cashier. He didn't notice Jerry pick up a chair and follow him. This is when things would take a turn for the worse for the thug. According to Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer, Craig Jerry is a courageous hero who put his own life at risk to thwart the crime unfolding right before his eyes. Breitbart reports that both Jerry and Flores were stabbed during the attempted robbery on Thursday. July 20, 2017. Flores fled the scene after getting the beating of his life and later told police he had been the victim of a robbery, but they didn't buy it. The video, which has now gone viral, shows Jerry walk up behind Flores with a chair and hammer him over the head and back twice, with it immediately knocking off his mask. Flores turned around obviously stunned that someone would stand up to him and quickly found he was no match for the pissed off 58-year-old hero. Jerry was able to wrestle the knife away from Flores and stabbed him in the face and torso with it. According to police, Jerry was stabbed in the neck during the fight as well. Flores, like the punk that he is, ran from the Starbucks and drove away. Police say he abandoned his truck close to Dakota and Fruit Avenues where a bystander soon noticed he was bleeding profusely. When the police arrived, Flores tried to convince them that he was the victim of a robbery. Luckily, the cops were already looking for the punk and arrested him. Flores was taken to a nearby hospital where he was listed in critical condition after he received an epic beatdown and some serious stab wounds with his own knife after Jerry took it from him. Jerry was also treated for a stab wound to his neck but is expected to make a full recovery. Flores will be charged with attempted robbery and assault with a deadly weapon, according to Fresno police. During an interview, police chief Dyer said, it's not something we recommend. In this case, it was a good outcome, no one died as a result of this incident, but very well could have. In regards to Jerry's courageous act, he added, but nonetheless, He's a hero there's no question. Thank God, for guys like Craig Jerry. He put his own life at risk to stand up and give Flores the brutal justice he deserved. However, this story can't end without stating the obvious. Starbucks has made it a point to take a political stance time and time again, including making their leftist, anti-gun views widely known. In fact, Starbucks was one of the first chains to request that customers leave their guns at home. As Huffington Post reported, CEO Howard Schultz wrote an open letter in 2013 to customers regarding the polarizing issue of open carry. Recently, we've seen the open carry debate become increasingly uncivil and, in some cases, even threatening. Pro-gun activists have used our stores as a political stage for media events misleadingly called Starbucks Appreciation Days that disingenuously portray Starbucks as a champion of open carry. To be clear, we do not want these events in our stores. Some anti-gun activists have also played a role in ratcheting up the rhetoric and friction, including soliciting and confronting our customers and partners. For these reasons, today we are respectfully requesting that customers no longer bring firearms into our stores or outdoor seating areas, even in states where open carry is permitted, unless they are authorized law enforcement personnel. Now, they've seen how the left's gun control policies and legislation will play out firsthand. As law-abiding customers comply, criminals still do as they please. Then, the heroes are left trying to level the playing field by using a damn chair in a gunfight. Tell me how that's in any innocent person's best interest? In this case, everyone is just lucky it was a replica gun. Next time, it might be a different story, 
and Starbucks will have just as much blood on their hands as the thug who fires on innocent patrons. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.